Hi, welcome to Gun Terminology for Dummies where we talk about general gun terminology and we're trying to bring it down to earth for those of us who haven't been in the gun community for very long. Today we're talking about beaver tail safeties. Hi, this is Colleen from Keeping the Peace, Defensive Handgun Training for Women, and today we're going to be starting a new series of videos called Gun Terminology for Dummies. This is an intro, and I specifically want to make sure that none of my viewers think that I'm in any way insinuating that any of you are dummies. That is not the purpose of this video series, so any of you who might have taken it that way by my title, uh, please be comforted in knowing that I don't perceive any of you as being dummies. The purpose of this series of books is to give you a crash course in a subject, okay? Kind of like Cliff's Notes for the books that you didn't read in high school. So that's the purpose of this video series. It's not to insinuate that any of the viewers are dummies. It is to give you a crash course in a subject. So what I plan to do with this video series is do short snips focusing on either one term or two terms that are in comparison to one another. Um, in my notebook here, I've started making a list of terms I plan to cover. I'm not going to read them to you, don't worry. But I do have quite a list already accumulated. So far I have 41 different terms on my list that will be covered in this series. And I want to open it up to you as the viewers. If you think of an acronym or a term you've heard in the gun community and you're unsure about what it means or if it's something that you think is a buzzword in the media and it's being misused and you want it to be clearly defined or if you have a new shooter in your life that needs to learn some terms and you've already maybe seen that they're misusing one or that they're unsure about one and it might cause a little tension when you try to explain everything feel free to make suggestions you can make suggestions for topics either in a private message or you can send it to me below in the comments and you'll want to do that on this intro video specifically. So uh, I plan to start the first topic next week. Some of these topics will be paired up, like uh, for instance, two, one, two that would be paired would be single action versus double action, or striker fire versus hammer fire, those types of things. Um, Semi-automatic versus fully automatic. Those types of things I'll put in one but there will be many other videos that are specifically one acronym or one term. So I hope that you'll join me for the series and I hope that I've set your mind at ease that you don't think that I'm being insulting by this video series at all. But I hope that it'll be a nice follow-up to the Preparing the New Shooter series. The purpose is for a crash course in a specific subject so that you can integrate yourself quickly into the gun community as a new shooter and be able to converse about your gun and converse about what you do with it. Hope you're having an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing you in the rest of the series. God bless. Bye. If you have a 1911 style pistol, you may have been hearing people throw around the term beaver tail safety. And today I just want to show you what that looks like. Here are two 1911 style pistols. This is an old Colt M1, just a really standard grip safety and you can see how it kind of tapers down right here in the middle and this is a Springfield EMP and you can see how this grip safety flares out like the round shape of a beaver tail it's supposed to give you the ability to grip higher on the firearm without any chance of you getting bitten by the slide however both of these curves are pretty low on the frame it would be pretty hard to get above that and get slide bitten but this just gives you an added bit of safety and it actually feels really good in your hand as well so here you can see that up close it flares out and that's all there is to it thanks for watching bye bye